And Dr. Sadiki, good morning and thank you very much uh, for your time. I mean, uh, I just wanted to know, uh, it must take a, quite a lot to do such a surgery and operation uh, uh, after so many years. But um, as an association, you must be looking back at this with a sense of pride this morning. Good morning, Arnold, to you and the, and the viewers out there. Uh, indeed, Arnold, you are correct to say that it might have taken a bit of challenges or time to prepare for an operation of this magnitude, uh, mind you, in a rural hospital, in a rural uh, province, with uh, a lot of challenges, uh, as you know, Arnold, uh, when it comes to resources and allocation of resources to such provinces. And the fact that they, they have not been doing such uh, operations for, for more than 23 years now, uh, it, it really uh, is... Uh, something to, to be proud of uh, from the association point of view that uh, there are still professionals that are willing to go that extra mile in making sure that even the poorest of the poor receives the quality healthcare services that we continue to advocate for. Yeah, what was the purpose of this heart operation? Well, uh, Arnold, uh, you will understand that when the heart is not functioning properly, uh, a lot of problems uh, arise from that, meaning that uh, from the lack of proper circulation of blood to vital organs like the brain, the heart itself, the kidneys, and many more organs in the body, you start experiencing a number of, of, of problems. In this case, I am told that the patient had uh, a huge uh, atrial myxoma, which is basically a non-cancerous tumor of the heart involving usually the the atrium part of the heart, which is the, one of the chambers of the heart. And when you've got such a tumor as big as they, they, they estimated to be around about eight by seven uh, centimeters in size, it means that the heart could not uh, really pump uh, 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 blood properly to the rest of the, of the, of the body. Then the patient, the patient starts suffering from uh, uh, symptoms related to, to heart failure and, and, and other uh, organ failures. Now, we understand this operation lasted about three hours. As you said, it was a complicated, a complex one, and the patient is now recovering well. Yes, the, the operation lasted uh, three hours. Uh, we, we, we're really proud that they managed to pull it off, uh, like I said, from a rural hospital uh, with uh, the assistance of, of the private sector uh, doctors led by the chief uh, surgeon, uh, cardiothoracic uh, surgeon by profession, Professor Mushala. We, 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 we really want to, to, to congratulate uh, uh, Professor Mushala and his private team and also send uh, our deepest uh, gratitude to the Mankweng Hospital uh, staff uh, and, and their management in making sure that they put to test these so-called uh, private-public uh, partnerships uh, uh, with the private hospitals in that province. Yeah, and and it, uh, this uh, is something that we should celebrate. A lot of critics might be saying, why are we celebrating these kind of issues? Well, for, state, for starters, we all know that these surgeries are done everywhere else in the world, including in, in, in South Africa. So basically, it's not uh, the first of its kind in, 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 in this country, but it's the first in 23 years in that province. And uh, this says a lot. And... Uh, on behalf of, of the association, we just want to say this should be really the beginning of many great things to come. And uh, we should be able to experience or see the advantages that comes with, uh, with Mankweng Hospital taking up that role of performing these complex operations. Yeah, well, at the best of times, we know that in our country today, rural health care faces many challenges. What would be the key lesson for you as a medical association, as medical professions from this, the success of this operation by obviously incredibly capable and competent medical professionals? I, I am glad that you selected the, the ways that you used, uh, incredibly competent medical professionals who, for, 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 to start with, uh, ah, some of them are members of the, of the South African Medical Association, and they understand what is our motto. They know what is our vision and our mission in the South African Medical Association, that we do not separate between the poor and the rich when it comes to the issues of provision of health care services, and not just the provision of health care services, but quality health care services to all, and that is what we continue to advocate for. And this is really good uh, for, 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 for us as a profession, 
at large that in, in these ways. Number one, uh, the, pe the performance of such a, pro a procedure at Mount Kwang Hospital does not only serve as a provision of health care services, it also opens a, a unique uh, a, a, a opportunity for transfer of skills to those junior doctors that are in that uh, particular province. Number two, it also alleviates the problem that the patients or the people of Limpopo used to experience over years. I mean, having to travel hundreds to almost thousands of kilometers to get uh, uh, safe health services, uh, uh, indeed, is not something that anyone who's sick will desire to do. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Chilizi Sadiki, speaking on behalf of the South African Medical Association after that successful open heart surgery in Limpopo province in a rural facility for the first time in 23 years.